And we'll go to to go. All eyes on one man. Is he leaving the club? Well, he starts this game, and we're live on EA TV. And this is the scene here at the King Power Stadium this in Leicester. It is. Stadium. I'm delighted to be able to report a beautiful day for football. I'm Derek Ray, joined here on the commentary position, as always, by Lee Dixon. And we've got Premier League action coming right up. It's Leicester City up against Leeds United. Yeah, thanks, Derek. My advice to the players out there is try and get off to a quick start. Be accountable for your own performance. But above all, go out and enjoy yourself. Should be a great game. Well, you can probably see why we're focusing on this fellow as one to watch. Lee, in particular, what do you expect to see from his game? Well, we say to each other in the back four, don't give him a yard because he will score. Don't give this lad half a yard. He's such a great finisher. Thank you for attending the King Power Stadium. Enjoy the match. And the match begins. Sessegnon. Great strong tackle, throw in forthcoming. Might really be able to trouble them here. How about the cross? Romain Perrault. And crossed in there. That's all they can conjure for now. Cleared away comprehensively. And scope for them to produce something exciting. Well read to ease the pressure. Well, there's been quite the focus on him coming into today's game. And the reports have been confirmed. He will, in fact, end his career at the end of the season. No two ways about it, Lee. A big loss for the club. Well, absolutely. They've got to fill that gap. More to the point, what's he going to do next season? Probably sit back, reminisce about his glorious time here. A fabulous player, a real winner. Indeedy. And now it's Phillips. De Powell. Can he finish this? And a goal! Not bad for starters. They take an early lead. Wow, what technique. When the ball comes to you and you don't need a touch and you can just whack it first time like this. What a goal. Slightly different vantage point in terms of the goal that was scored. 1-0 then. Excellent use of the ball as they make their way forward. 
defensive roadblock in the way of that cross. Corner kick played in. But he dealt with that ball played in rather well. Castagna. A super tackle and they've won possession. A chopping challenge and the referee has got to have a big think about it. That will certainly mean a booking here. And now he's on a tightrope. Played in there. Has eyes for goal. There's no escaping the fact that they really should be two in front. Well, you look back at games sometimes and you say, when was the defining moment? That could have been it. Sofian Amrabat. Well, no luck keeping possession. Well, possibilities in the centre. Romain Perrault. Chance here. And they've only gone and applied that finishing touch. Well, the offside flag has been raised. No goal. Well, it was close, but he just went a little bit too early. Right, let's change gear because a goal has been scored at Villa Park. Alan McAnally can tell us more. It's a goal for Chelsea. 22 minutes played. 1-0. Alan McAnally keeping us right up to date. And space to attack. And the cross is very much on. Cutting in, what can he do from this position? Still possibilities. In it goes! At the second time of asking, and the keeper feels hung out to dry. Well, here's the replay. I never liked rebound goals off goalkeepers. The defenders should be there. Probably would have been my fault. On that occasion, his defenders went missing. Well, they've been poor all day, Derek, and your sense is going to be a rollicking in that dressing room after the game. So, 2-0 now. Defended well. Goalkeeper getting in the way. Superb save. And now the delivery. A decisive clearance it was. Space and time for the cross. Well, it looked so promising, but a goal kicked the outcome. There to take it away. Getting forward. Now to the front post. And cleared away. A corner kick it'll be. And firing it into the area. Well off target. Didn't have an awful lot of space to work with, however. Sofian Amrabat. I believe there's been a goal on the Aston Villa match. Let's hear about that goal from Alan McAnally. It's a second goal for Chelsea. 32 minutes played, 2-0. Thanks, Alan. Possession certainly isn't a problem for Leeds. If you have that much of the ball, you can put pressure on the opposition defence. And they look like they're creaking. That's why they're winning comfortably. You never really know, Lee, if it's going to come off when you hit it on the volley in that fashion. Yeah, hero to zero. When he struck that, you think, wow, and then all of a sudden you realise where it's gone. Sessegnon. Romain Perrault. Over the touchline for a throw-in. Radio. Maraj Kumbula. Now in Didi. Odson Edouard. It's opening up for them. 
just straying off. And room now out on the wing. A really vital interception. Can they hit on the break? Might be dangerous. Can he make a count? Really important tackle. Timothy Castagna. And Edouard with it. Ndidi. So two minutes of stoppage time to be added on. And teammates to play it to. Well, a good tackle. Space on the flank. The first half here comes to an end. The teams are ready to have a go at each other again as the second half commences. Is this the moment? And a goal! What a magnificent display! It's such a one-sided contest here. Well, you could be critical of the defending, but let's focus on the great play. Capped off with a superb, calm, calculated finish. Slightly different vantage point in terms of the goal that was scored. Three goals without reply. A sloppy pass. A meaty but fair challenge, and it will be a throw-in. Well, that's a completely wasted throw-in. Well, no doubt many of you have been hearing the transfer rumours. It does look as though the deep... Well, it could be on for him here. And mistimed the run, sadly. That's offside. Ricky Puig. Crossing into the middle. Can he get the shot off? Another goal! The lead grows to four now. A rampant display. Well, as we see again, that's how to score goals. Get the ball into the box from wide areas. And the relaxed way he strikes that into the back of the net is pure quality. And this is turning into something of a rout. 4-0. On the offensive. Can he do it? A goal! We're really being spoiled. This is attacking football at its finest. Well, here's the replay, and the keeper knows that near post should be his. But he left a gap, and he got punished. And as they restart the game, it's fair to say the gulf in quality between the two sides has been huge. Well, he played that one really well. How can he take them on and beat them? Another perfect position to read it. That's very effective. Good high pressing. Opportunity in the wide area. And making his move inside. It looks promising. But it can't get through. And that, a piece of goalkeeping, you're going to see again and again and again.
and firing it into the area the header but far too straight to worry the keeper yeah meat and drink for a goalkeeper of that class and a quick reminder we have FA Cup quarter-final action for you to enjoy here on EA TV it's Leicester City facing West Bromwich Albion yeah you do have to be careful as a player you don't let your mind wander too oh good reflexes from the keeper and the danger averted And time for the change now. Over it comes. Well, he had the measure of it, the goalkeeper. Well, they'll try to keep the pressure on in the form of another corner. And now the delivery. And it crossed the touchline, so a throw in here. Well, he just let his opponent glide by, losing possession. And a quick reminder, we have FA Cup quarter-final action for you to enjoy here on EA TV. It's Leeds United taking on Brighton. Yeah, the fans will be up for that one. They can see the final lurking in the distance. The players will have to be a little bit more focused on the job in hand, though. Should be a cracking game, Derek. Todd Cantwell free kick awarded then by the referee and it might be oh he really bruised the crossbar Jared Bowen well the referee wasn't going to let that go of a goal in the Everton game Alan it's a second goal for Liverpool 75 minutes played 2-0 Alan McAnally with his finger on the pulse and he read it well retaining possession proving difficult going well Romain Perrault in the right place to cut out the pass. Only ten minutes remaining here. Gigo being pressed and pressed high. Jared Bowen. It's opening up for them. Fruitful looking attack. And now they have the ball back. And news coming through that a goal has been scored at Villa Park. Details from Alan McAnally. It's a third goal for Chelsea. Six minutes remain. 3 1. Many thanks, Alan. No, it didn't seem to be too much in that offside decision. Sofian Amrabat losing possession a bit easily. And five minutes to go. And providing width. And he's in. Oh, my goodness! He's caught that so well! A goal of the highest class. Fantastic technique. Well, here's the replay. It's a really dangerous ball into the penalty area. And the finish. I can't tell you how hard that technique is. It's an absolute cracker. It's a massive lead, and it's very hard to imagine them losing it now. Playing with purpose and control. Now oh, far from the ideal pass, you've got to say. And scope for them to produce something exciting. Indeedy. Justin 
Pedrosa. This might be ideal for the counter. Well, it fizzled out. And plenty of room in the wide area. Opportunity it is. And now it is there for him. And they've only gone and applied that finishing touch. Well, the offside flag has been raised. No goal. Well, it was close, but he just went a little bit too early. And there goes the... Whistle true to passing all these hand still keep playing safe. You can say them for the children, they got lost along the way. Vipers. There. Have you got a minute for a question? Thanks for the questions.